Today I'm going to show you how to install a CPU miner on your system. So of course you've got the easy version which is Minergate, but I'm pretty convinced that their systems are pretty fucking shit and that they lie about their hash rates and their scams. So you could do this and you could sign up and use this shit, but I wouldn't recommend using Minergate. So I'm going to show you what else to do. So you're going to need to head over to this uh, download link which is actually virus free for once, so there we are. it's in the description. Um, then you just wanna you wanna download this. So there we are. We've downloaded that. We're gonna open this up, we're gonna go into here and uh, let's just open up a new here we are. And let's find a place to put this, so let's just call this Let's put this on IC drive actually. Oh, I know I'm running out of C drive space, don't have a go at me. Anyway, um, here we are, new folder, CPU miner. And uh, let's just uh, drag the contents of this into here. We're going to need a password. The password is JMZ Network in caps because I'm a monk. There we are, all done. Okay, we've got this batch file. We want to right click and then hit edit. No, right click, edit. Run that, yeah. Okay, so here we are. Leave all the settings the same. This is set up from Minergate Miner. Um, so, what we're going to do is you're going to need to switch over to somewhere. Let's go over to this link, will also be in the description. Go over to minerahash.com slash hashtag network. This will show you the distribution of miners. So, you can see I'm going to try and mine decentralized so to support Monero. But you can see the current hash rate distribution of pools is mainly with Minergate for some reason. I'm pretty sure they use botnets. This will be a botnet, um, and hopefully we can do something with this. So I'm going to use Dwarf Pool here. So here we have Dwarf Pool, and I'm going to go into altcoins. Wait, no, I'm going to go to Monero, and I'm going to try and show you how to do it. So essentially, what you're going to need to do is find whether your EU. US. You're going to need to select to connect to this pool. So you can right click, open up CPU like that. Then instead of this here, we're going to replace this with the link. And we're going to find a port. Um, which we can use. And I'm going to choose to use 8000. There we are. So we are going to replace that there with this here. Make sure we get that right. Okay, so the username is going to be your Monero wallet address. So I'm going to paste this into my username. That's my thing. Password, we can enter a password. Um, with Dwarf Pool, one of the great things is you can have updates when you mine. So instead of set your password, you can use X or you can use your mail provider. So there we are. I'm going to put, I think our current one is jmz.network.channel at gmail.com, I hope. And then you want to set your threads to four. Then with your username, you can also set your rig name. So you put like dot um, dot minor one or something like that so there we are and then what we're going to do is file save this batch file uh, close that and uh, get this running so yes you want to run that and there we are we are connected to the dwarf pool and we'll see that this is uh, the hash rates. This is CPU mining. GPU mining is much more efficient. Stay tuned for a uh, totally regular upload schedule in which I will uh, probably not make as to how to do GPU mining.